Hi there, it's Lee here for iMine Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be sharing with you how to CPU mine Nexus. So, Nexus has already been getting a lot of traction over this last week. The actual uh, market cap has gone from two and a half million um, to just touching six million dollars. Um, so that's an increase over this last week. So it's really um, come to life. Um, this is a coin that I actually picked um, just before Christmas, and it was one of my recommended CPU mineable. Uh, coins. So this one is looking like a really good coin to mine right now. Um, so I'm jumping back in and mining more of it and um, I'm recommending you guys uh, to do the same thing. Uh, just before I jump in to show you exactly how to do it, uh, one of the cool things about Nexus versus other coins is that it has um, two separate mining channels. So when you're CPU mining, you're not directly competing against the, CPU, uh, the GPU miners. So it, what it actually does is it flip flops between the CPU mining and GPU mining. So like I say, there's no um, uh, advantage to GPU mining uh, this coin over the CPU miners. So it's a good coin to mine alongside your other um, you know, mining efforts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna uh, jump onto the computer next to me. So this is uh, Worker 10, I normally call it, so you would have seen it in my other videos. Um, the CPU, by the way, is a Intel i7 uh, 950, uh, overclocked slightly, and um, that's the machine that I'm gonna be showing you on. So at the moment, we've just got the market cap there, so like I say, that's, um, it was down the lowest at 2.2 million US dollars, and you can see now it's at like 590, just under six. Million, so it's had a really good run, and that's just over the last seven days. So, looking really good going forward, uh, definitely a coin that you want to mine. So, let me just close the browser. This is the software that we're actually going to be using, which is the Nexus uh, CPU miner. And you can see I'm running it with uh, three cores, and I'm getting 230 231 pps. That's the actual uh, performance, how it's measured. So, that's the equivalent to the hash rate. So, it's primes per second, but that's the equivalent to your your hash rate. So let's close it. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the actual video description um, of where you can actually download this miner from. Um, I'll put a, uh, a a package together where you can download it and it'll just be like a ready to go uh, mining package. Um, I'll put a batch file in there and everything that you need to get started. Um, so just download that and then extract it to your desktop or your downloads folder wherever you like. And these are the files that you're going to see inside. So Included with it is actually three separate miners. So I'll show you how to configure it at the moment. Um, but for most people, what you're gonna use is just this nexus underscore CPU miner.exe. But to start it, we need to edit the actual batch file, which includes our configuration. So don't just click on the, the, the executable, um, start it via the batch file. So select the batch file, and then you wanna right click and edit it. And then inside the batch file is going to look a little something like this. So I'll just stretch it so it's just kind of more on one line. So at the top you've just got begin. Um, it's not really relevant. You can doesn't really make any difference. Um, but I'll get to the important stuff. So the first part is this Nexus Unsaw CPU miner. Um, you can change this to one of those other uh, file names. So if you've got a Core Two Duo, change it to underscore dash um, Core Two exe. And if you've got a Sandy Bridge processor, then just change this file name to match up with this uh, program here. So, but for most people, you're just gonna wanna leave it exactly the same as it is. So nexus underscore CPU minor dot EXE. So the next part is the actual pool. So this is a CPU pool miner. So the pool that we're gonna be using is a nexus mining pool dot com. And then we've got the port number. That is the correct port number. So. So this first part, you can basically leave all of the same as it is. It's going to be the same pretty much for most people. The part that you want to change for yourself is this part here. So this is actually your Nexus wallet address. So to get this, all you need to do is open up your Nexus wallet. If you go to receive, and then you can just create a new address. Just give it a label demo. And then we're just going to copy that address. Can minimize the wallet now. And then we're just gonna paste that address in to here. So this is our new wallet address. And then the last part is a space, and then we've got three. So the three is a number of the mining uh, cores that we're gonna be using. So I prefer to use it uh, one less core than the processor actually has. So on a four core processor, um, I use three cores. If you've got like, you know, a hexa uh, six core processor and you want to use five cores 
or if you've just got a dual core processor you may only want to use one core so this is something that you can sort of um, test with and just see which you get the best results with um, so then I'm just going to save that in this case I'll just save it as if you do use the save as option uh, put the file name as demo dot uh, bat uh, but where you've got the actual save as type make sure you change it from text documents to all files otherwise it will just get saved as a text file and you won't be able to run the batch file uh, so we're just going to save that we can close the notepad now and you can see here here is the batch file that we have just uh, created so I'm just going to double click and we shall run that now So you can see it's got our address in there, connect to the mining pool, three threads, there's a timeout of 10 seconds. Then it says generating primes. Then you can see it's kind of connected on one, two, and three blocks. The first one is always, it counts the threads or the cores. It will always start from zero um, and then go up from this. So you've got all three threads there. And then it's just gonna start mining away. So from this point, you can just leave it. You'll see, in the actual sort of main window you'll get this primes per second on this configuration i was getting about 225 um on the i5 66 yeah 6600k that i've got i was getting around um 450 hashes per second um on my amd a10 7700k i was getting around 150 to 160 hashes per second and that's on three cores for each one of those devices so that'll give you kind of a benchmark figures to to go by um, so yeah, 220 primes per second. Um, under the bottom, you've got the actual block height, but what you'll also notice is that there's currently a balance, which is quite cool. So obviously the more you mine, your balance is gonna pick up. It's gonna slowly accrue over, over the hours or days, depending on your um, hash ratio. Um, and then what it's gonna actually gonna do is gonna pay out to your wallet. So the payouts, I'm not sure exactly how often they're done. I think they might be done either once per day or once when you hit a certain threshold. So um, I've been getting payouts um, roughly, um, sorry, let me go to transactions. So when they seem to be, I've got all these different kind of miners, but they're not um, labeled. So they're kind of coming through uh, fairly regularly. So for some of my miners, um, it's happening when it's three or four coins. And on the other miners, the slower miners, it's just kind of happening uh, periodically. Um, so yeah, you, you should basically see some results within a day or two, regardless of how, how fast you mine there. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I'll put a link in the actual video description so you can download this miner and um, get started with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have fun mining and I'll see you guys on the next video.